first, let's cover the basics. The stator is the stationary part of an alternator. It contains multiple windings or wires that generate voltage when the rotor's magnetic field passes through them. The rotor spins inside the stator, and an air gap prevents physical contact between the two most alternators use three windings in the stator to produce three-phase alternating current. These windings can be arranged in two main configurations, the Y connection and the delta connection. Let's start with the Y winding, also known as the star pattern. This configuration gets its name because the windings connect at a central point, forming a Y shape. Y windings are the most commonly used configuration in alternators, especially when high voltage at low engine speeds is required. Here's how it works. Current is induced in each winding by electromagnetic induction from the rotor's magnetic field. Two windings are always connected in series, so the currents from each combine before flowing to the alternator's output terminal. This design provides consistent current across a wide range of engine speeds, making it ideal for vehicles where reliable low-speed performance is critical. Additionally, the neutral junction in a Y stator can be used for special functions, like controlling the charge indicator light or regulating the rotor field current. Now, let's look at the delta winding. This configuration connects the windings in a triangular pattern, resembling the Greek letter delta. Unlike the Y configuration, delta windings form parallel circuits. This means more current can flow through the alternator compared to the series circuit of a Y winding. In fact, a delta winding can produce up to 73% more current at high alternator speeds. For example, if a Y-connected alternator produces 55 amps, the same alternator with delta windings can produce 95 amps under the same conditions. However, delta windings perform poorly at low engine speeds, making them better suited for applications requiring high output at higher RPMs. So, which configuration is better? It depends on your needs. If you need high charging voltage at low speeds, like in most automotive applications, Y windings are the way to go. But if your application demands high output at high RPMs, delta windings are the better choice. To recap, Y and delta windings each have unique advantages depending on speed and current output requirements. Understanding these configurations helps engineers design alternators for specific performance needs. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.